almost every Android app has to open third-party content at some point. At that moment, developers need to decide if they open that content in the browser or use a web view. Opening links in the browser is a heavyweight transition from the application and doesn't allow you to customize the UI. This may frustrate users and make it harder for them to return to your app. Using a web view gives you more control of the UI, but it's harder to build and doesn't include all the cool features that browser developers work hard to provide. Wouldn't it be nice if you could have the best of both worlds? That's why we created Chrome Custom Tabs. My name is Andre Bandara, and with Chrome Custom Tabs, third-party content in your app is a first-class citizen. Chrome Custom Tabs is a new way to show third-party content on Android that allows you to change how Chrome looks and feels, making the transition from app to web seamless. By using Custom Tabs, you can customize Chrome to match your application color, change the start and exit animations, or add a custom action to the toolbar, like a button to save an article to read later. It also features a customizable up button that makes it easier for the user to return to your app once done with the content. Being a part of Chrome, it shares the same cookie jar, so your users won't have to log in frequently to view third-party content. It also makes it easier for the content publishers to track user engagement coming from your application. You also get the Chrome features like formal to fill, geolocation prompts, and page translation. But it's also about speed, as it allows your app to ask Chrome to preload content in the background, so that when users click on a link, it will open really fast. Preloading content can make the links inside your app open up to three times faster than using a normal Chrome tab or a web view. Chrome Custom Tabs is already available, starting for Chrome version 45. OK, let's take a look on how to use Chrome Custom Tabs in your Android app. First, add the Android support library to your project build file. To enable warm-up and preloading, you need to connect to the browser service. Once connected, you can ask Chrome to warm up. To prefetch the content, create a new navigation session, optionally passing a callback. Now, you are ready to ask Chrome to prefetch the third party content. You can give it a single URL, or if you need more, you can add a list of other URLs the user is likely to navigate. Chrome will prioritize the first URL, followed by the all other URLs on the list in the order passed to it. And don't forget to unbind the service when Chrome Custom Tabs is no longer needed. Now, if possible, Chrome will start to prefetch the content. It may go all the way from resolving DNS to fetching the page and support content like CSS, JavaScript, and images, and even pre-render the page, up to the point that all that remains is to actually draw the pixels on the screen. You open a Chrome tab by using a custom tab intent. Pass it a reference to the host activity and the URI you want to open. If the URI matches the one, one of the URIs passed when prefetching, Chrome will use the prefetched content. Otherwise, it will fetch and render the page at that moment. There are various customizations possible on the custom tab UI. Use them by calling the corresponding methods on the custom tab's intent builder. To change the application bar color, for instance, you need to call the setToBarColor method. Chrome Custom Tabs is a powerful tool that allows your application to open web content in a seamless way. By using it, you get the UI flexibility of a web view, increased user retention, and create a seamless transition between your app and the web. You also get the shared cookie jar from Autofill and all the other cool features from Chrome improving even more the user experience and providing better metrics for content publishers. It also has the unique advantage of being able to prefetch the content, making it load faster. All those features make it the best solution when opening third-party content in your application. It's also an open specification, which means that other browsers besides Chrome may support it. If you want to see how to integrate Chrome custom tabs in your Android app, check our demo on GitHub. Or, if you have questions, 
you can send them on the Stack Overflow tag Chrome Custom Tabs. Next time you want third-party content in your app, let Chrome pick up the tab.